Hello everyone, welcome to lecture 6 of my course, and in this lecture we're going to be going over the XY coordinate system and why it's so important for computer programming, why you need to know it, and how it can help us build really cool projects in the future. This is a very informative and information-packed episode, so you might want to go ahead and get a notepad, maybe take some notes and get that ready, and pause the video and maybe wind back a little bit since this is going to be a very jam-packed very important video lesson in this course so not that the others aren't important but this is going to be a very compressed one and it would be a little bit weird to space it out and i think you'll see why but we're just going to go over a lot in this one and we're just going to accelerate your understanding of this and accelerate your knowledge of computer programming and just give it a really big boost and jump start with this xy coordinate plane explanation lecture that is basically universal for computer programming in general. And the reason why I say basically is for one key difference between Scratch and most other programming languages when it comes to the XY coordinate system that I will go over. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Now, we're going to get more into the art editor for editing art that uh, very, very soon. However, you don't need to pay attention to how I'm drawing this stuff or how I'm doing this art right now because I'm going to get to it very soon. But before we get to how to do all this, how to use this art editor or GUI, which stands for graphical user interface, we actually need to understand the XY coordinate system first. So I'm going to use the art system to explain a concept so that we, I can teach you to use the art system is one way of looking at it and uh, I'm actually just editing the background right now but what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a line going horizontally and a line going vertically but so you don't have to I'm actually going to draw it for you I'm going to explain why this is important as well might not be a perfect line but it'll still give you the idea Alright, so as you can see, I have a plus symbol or like a little cross going across the screen and just in this background, uh, in this background layer right here. And again, don't go off messing with the art and the backgrounds and all that yet because I'll get to teaching you all the insides and outsides of doing that and I will teach you everything you need to know about that, but not yet. Right now we're just explaining the coordinate system, okay? And as far as the coordinate system goes and there's there's several things you call it you call it the xy coordinate plane the xy coordinate system and things like that but the core the core thing and the first thing to know about this is that the x axis and you might already notice if you've taken like algebra pre-calculus certain math classes read certain math textbooks things like that but um and basically the thing you have to know here is that the x axis is horizontal and the y axis is vertical and horizontal means left to right and vertical means up and down so let's do this. X axis and Y axis. Now there is also a Z axis for whenever we're building 3D applications and games and art and things like that, which we will do in this course. However, for this, it's just 2D. And the D stands for dimensions. And the two dimensions are the X and Y axis. And for 3D or three dimensions, it's X and Y axis, but there's also a Z axis. So there's left, right, up, down. And then Z just adds the element of going out and inward. So with this, you can make a square, but with the Z axis, you can make a cube, if that makes sense. And a cube is just, well, like three-dimensional square. So, but anyways, that, that's not the point. We're not going to go over the Z axis in this one. We're just going to go over the X, Y coordinate system. And this will actually help you in math and math classes and things like that as well. And I think this is a good or at least more exciting way to teach it using Scratch. So I'm going to change my text color here. And I'm going to tell you about something called ordered pairs and coordinate pairs now. So the format you're going to use for this, and this will make sense in just a moment, is the X value first and the Y value second. So why why this? Or why am I telling you this? So let me show you. Let me let me go back to our cat here. And if you remember, we moved it like 10 pixels forward in the last lecture. So its X position is 10. I'm just going to recenter it at 0. So 0, 0 is the center of the screen in Scratch. And 
zero zero is the equivalent of and the format we use for this is two parentheses and then the x and y values separated by a comma inside the parentheses so for example it would be zero 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 comma zero just like that and that illustrates where our cat is of course let me delete this at least 10 pixels to the right And it goes by measure of pixels. It might be different units uh, in some other situations, but in programming, we go by pixels, even outside of Scratch. Okay, so go like this. So 10 is 0 would be 10 pixels to the right and 0 pixels up or down. What if we want to go up as well? We could just go 10. And I'll edit this as well. So this would be 10, 10. 10 pixels to the right and 10 to the up. However, what if we want to go left and what if we want to go down? Because we know how to go right and up. Because, like, you know, let's say I want to go 100 pixels to the right and 50 pixels up. I can just go 100 pixels to the right. I can go 50 pixels up. And I'm not going to edit this anymore because I'll just have to change that each time or edit the ordered pair. But that, that's essentially how it works. What about left or down? Well, we would just put a negative in front of it. A negative symbol, which is just a hyphen. Just like that. So, if both are a negative, then your left and down but what about if you're going left and up well if you're going left it would be a negative x value but if it's going up it would be a positive value so it won't go down and let me illustrate this for you better to kind of reinforce that i'm going to go back to my backdrop here and i'm going to draw something for you i'm going to draw something called the coordinate system this is really good for math and calculus and pre-calculus and algebra too if you end up taking those classes, or if you have already taken them, then you might know what I'm talking about here. And I'm going to talk about the quadrant system. And I'll actually spell it out for you. Quad, er, that is not good contrast. Let's try a dark purple. Quadrant one. And we use Roman numerals instead of normal numbers. So what's a Roman numeral? A Roman numeral is basically a, so it might be used to like 1, 2, 3, like this, like 1, 2, 3. The Roman numeral uses a different system to do that, so like a lot of clocks do this, so it'll be I, or a capital I, and then two capital I's would be 2, and then three capital I's would be 3. It doesn't go on like that indefinitely, because it'll be like V's for 5, and IV would be 4, because it's v minus i's it's a little bit weird so just in case you're not familiar with that i'm going to use normal numbers but know that in mathematics and even in other programming languages they use roman numerals so if you don't know that look it up but i'm just gonna use normal numbers to keep things very simple for the purpose of this uh, demonstration so this would be quadrant one right or actually yeah this would be quadrant one and it goes what's called counterclockwise starting in the top right Counter so a clock moves clockwise in this direction where I, the direction I'm moving my mouse. A counterclockwise would be the opposite direction. So if you're winding a clock backwards, the direction you would go. So it's counter, which means against clockwise. So this would be quadrant two, quadrant three, and lastly quadrant four. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. I know it's a little bit weird that's in that order, but that's the way it is. And here's what we can do for this. Quadrant one is positive x, positive y. Because whenever you're going right, the x value is positive. Whenever you're going up, the y value is positive. Quadrant two, well, the x value is going to be negative since you're going to the left, but the y value is still positive since you're going up. Now, quadrant three, both are negative since you're going left and down and I'll, I'll still further further visualize this if you don't fully understand it even with this which is totally okay because i either it took me a while to get the hang of this and again there's plenty of resources to scratch with and things like that but this would be a negative y since we're going down and a positive x since we're going to the right let me illustrate this like this i'll put a positive since we're going to the right here i'll put a negative since we're going to the left here and i'll put a negative since we're going down here and a positive since we're going up here. So, uh, so it would be a positive. Both would be positive if you're going quadrant one. So, up and to the right. And both would be negative if you're 
going to the left and down and the x value would be negative if you're going left but the y value would be positive if you're still going up and vice versa for this quadrant it uh, would be negative the y value if you're going down you know so we can use this as well so we know if it's negative it's going down we know it's positive if we're going to the right so it'd be positive x value and negative y value so i'm actually going to get rid of this so it doesn't confuse you that was just to show you the format for ordered pairs i think in the top left there and that is uh that's pretty much what we would do for that and i'm going to move this cat out of the way so you can see it over here as well notice that whenever i move them the values change like it automatically resets and it refers to the very center of the cat for where they get the value from so if i put them at zero zero then like that's where the center of them would be actually maybe it takes it like right here right about where his mouth is is where the center would be and so that's where it knows to precisely place them. But this is so important because you can precisely place objects on the screen using this system. You can precisely move them around the screen using the system. So that that's so. Let, let's say we wanted to put them at 50 units down and 20 units to the right. Well, we know that it would be uh, well actually by units I mean pixels. And so 20 pixels to the right would be 20, and since it's to the right, it's x, and since left and right is x, and up and down is y, we're using x. So we're talking about x here. Since it's to the right, it's a positive value, and we know since to the right of the origin, which by the way is 0, 0, this is the origin. I already talked about this, but the origin is 0, 0. But 20 units to the right of the origin. So x would be 20, right? Now it's 20 pixels to the right of the origin or 0, 0. But if we want to go down, it would be down 50 pixels. It would be a value of 50. And we're talking, we're going to use the y-axis since we're talking about up and down. It's vertical. But it would be negative because we're going down. And we can tell because negative, a negative symbol right here, and a positive symbol up here. And since we're going down, it would be negative, negative 50. Sorry. I don't know what happened. That just completely bugged out. Usually doesn't happen, by the way. Scratch is not a super buggy platform at all. And so there we go. That, that's pretty much the technique you can do. And you can practice on your own if you want. But you won't really know how because I haven't shown you the drawing tools yet. But I'll show you that in the next lecture. I'll show you all about how I'm doing all this art stuff. I'll show you about more about these objects and things like that. So don't worry. But uh, that said, uh, this is... Essentially, essentially the core the core of what you need to know. Now I'm also going to introduce direction in this lecture and size just because size is quick and fairly simple. So direction is basically well the direction is facing. So if I turn this I can change where the cat's facing. And this does not have to do with the coordinate system or the XY plane but it does have to do with movement. And whenever you're talking about the XY plane, you're dealing with movement. And we'll get into more how this is important two lectures from now. Now here's the size. And this is interesting because there should be a percent here, but there's not, so it's just 100%. And 100% is just the standard of what it is. But if we go 90% of what it is, we just change this value to 90. Now it's 10% smaller. Oops. And... If we go 110%, we can go 110% bigger. Or send back to normal at 100%. We'll go much more into this three lectures from now, so don't worry if this isn't. Well, I know it's a really brief explanation there. I just wanted to get that out of the way, so size and direction makes a little more sense. Don't worry about sprite and don't worry about show right now. I'll get into that later as well. What matters right now is the coordinate plane and understanding these values. Now, remember how we said there's something different about what normal computer programmers do and Scratch does as far as this? What most computer programmers do, and I say normal, but it's really most. It's, there's others that are like Scratch in this. But the most, most of the, what most of them do is 0, 0, or the origin is in the very top left corner. The reason why this is, is to avoid negative values. So the x-axis would be up here, and the y-axis would be here. But when the y-axis is going down, it would be positive. So x50 would be 50 pixels to the right, and x25 would be 25 pixels to the left of that, but x50 would be 50 pixels to the right, and y50 would be 50 pixels down, even though it's a positive number. 
but for math, like standard mathematics, calculus, precalculus, algebra, which are some categories of math, and for scratch, zero, zero, or the origin is at the center. And that's what you need to know for there. I'm gonna save my project, because why not? And that is the XY coordinate plane. And this will, it, it'll make a lot more sense how we can apply this. Uh, actually, in the next lecture, or two lectures from now, I apologize, it'll make a lot more sense about how we can apply this and why it's important to know this. But I really wanted to knock this out of the way before we get into really anything else uh, as far as programming goes. And this will save us a lot of time in the long run. I know we're not jumping in. To pro I mean, we are jumping into programming in a sense because we're going in as fast as we can. There's still a couple things we need to really grasp before we do that. And as a result, we're doing this. But it will save you time in the future, I promise. And I really want you guys to thoroughly understand this to make it as easy, clear, and comprehensive as possible. And that said, that's it for Lecture 6. I really want to thank you for sticking with me. And Lecture 7 will be a bit more fun, a little bit easier, and you'll still learn a lot in it, so I really hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you enjoyed this one and learned something from this one as well. Alright, I'll see you guys in Lecture 7, and I really look forward to working with you guys there.